The headline dropped on Sunday, January 4th, 2026, and it was absolutely shattering. Russia's drone-proof tank had fatal flaws. We're talking about their supposed technological masterpiece, the T-90M, the pride of the fleet. The Proriva, the breakthrough tank. It's now being fitted with this new Arena M system, and the promise, the hype, was that this would make it untouchable, invulnerable, especially against FPV drones. But the reality is just, it's falling apart. The shield is already pierced, and we have the proof. So are these fatal flaws just a minor glitch, or are we looking at a catastrophic failure of design? That's what we're digging into. And look, if you support the defense efforts against aggressors, if you want this kind of critical analysis to get out there, you know what to do. Hitting that like button and subscribing genuinely helps this reach more people who need to be informed. It really does make a difference. Our mission today is to rip apart the claims surrounding this Arena M system. We're going to look at the official announcements from January 4th and expose the massive gap between what they claim and what's actually happening on the ground. Okay, let's unpack this. The core of the story is that official announcement. A new batch of T-90M tanks will get the updated Arena M Active Protection System. What is this system and what's the big new claim? Well, for anyone not familiar, an APS is basically a high-tech shield. It uses radar to spot incoming threats like missiles and then fires off little counter munitions to destroy them before they can hit the tank's armor. And the big new thing here was drones. Exactly. The big claim was that the Arena M software was updated way back in 2025 with a, quote, special mode specifically to intercept small attack drones. This was meant to be the ultimate answer to the FPV drone threat that's been devastating their armored columns. That feels like a huge technological leap, though, doesn't it? Because the original Arena M wasn't built for that at all. Not even close. You have to remember the physics here. Arena M was designed to stop traditional anti-tank weapons, missiles, and rockets that are moving incredibly fast, often faster than the speed of sound. You have milliseconds to react. But an FPV drone is the complete opposite of that. Fundamentally different. They're slow, they're small, they're often made of plastic, and they hug the terrain. This creates two massive problems for a system like Arena M. Okay, what's the first one? First, the radar. It's designed to filter out what's called ground clutter. You know, the electronic noise from trees, hills, buildings. Yeah. A slow, low-flying drone can just get written off by the system as background noise. So it's basically invisible to the thing meant to shoot it down. Potentially, yeah. And second, even if it is detected, the counter munitions are like tiny shotguns. They're designed for a fast-moving missile. Trying to hit a slow, tiny drone with that requires a level of precision the original system just wasn't built for. It's like trying to shoot a fly with a cannon. Which explains the skepticism. Yeah. Now, officials first mentioned adapting this for drones back in early 2024. That's two years ago. For their flagship tank facing such a critical threat, does two years feel fast or... Painfully slow. For a war-critical system... Two years is a huge delay. It tells you they were either struggling massively with the technical problems we just talked about, or they just didn't have the parts or industrial capacity. And the fact that this January 2026 statement is the first public confirmation mm -hmm. just highlights how late to the game they are. Which brings us to the visual evidence, and this is where the whole story just starts to unravel. R right, because Russian state media released this video from the Ural Vaganza Vod production plant. But it raises more questions than it answers. It's a huge red flag. The video uses computer animation to show the system working, and that animation does not match the known real-world hardware of the Arena M. I saw that. The discrepancy is just, it's shocking. Talk about this launch mystery. Okay, so in the computer animation, it shows the counter munitions launching from a side compartment that's built right into the tank's hull. Which is completely wrong. Completely. The actual serial production Arena M that we've seen deployed launches its munitions from a set of mortars mounted right on top of the turret. They're completely different designs. So what they're showing in their official promotional material is a system that doesn't actually seem to exist on the tanks they're rolling out. It suggests they're trying to sell a capability that's at best a prototype or maybe just a drawing on a computer. It's not what's being delivered to the front lines. It makes you wonder who that video was for. Was it to reassure their own troops? or just pure domestic propaganda. And that matters, because while they're showing off these animations, the real world is providing some brutal feedback. Let's get to that. Forget the claims. Let's look at the verifiable losses. We have documented proof that these tanks are anything but drone-proof. 
In the summer of 2025, fighters from the 429th Separate Regiment, the Achilles Unit, successfully destroyed a T-90M using FTV drones. And that happened after this supposed 2025 software update was available. That's the key. It's hard proof that even if some tanks had the upgrade, it failed. The tank is still catastrophically vulnerable. And this isn't a one-off incident. The sheer scale of the losses is... It's hard to even comprehend. We had to look at the data from the Oryx project. For anyone who doesn't know, Oryx only tracks losses that are confirmed with photo or video evidence. It's the gold standard for open source intelligence. And their numbers are unbelievable. Since the start of the full-scale war, Russia has lost more than 150 T-90M tanks. 150. But here's the real story, the part that just breaks your brain. The same Oryx report estimated that as of 2024, the total number of T-90Ms Russia had in service was only around 120 units. Wait, hold on a second. Say that again. They've lost more than 150, but they only had about 120 to begin with. The math doesn't add up. It points to a couple of really painful truths for them. I mean, how is that even possible? It means they're in a frantic cycle. Hmm. They're building or modernizing these tanks, maybe the ones from that January announcement, and rushing them straight to the front lines. Only to lose them almost immediately. Exactly. They aren't just losing their old stock. They are hemorrhaging their brand new, top-of-the-line production. It's an unsustainable rate of loss. It's a catastrophic failure to protect their most advanced assets. Which leads to the obvious question. Even if they have some kind of fix in the works, can they even produce it fast enough to matter? And the implementation plan seems to admit that they can't. Some of the information suggests this new Arena M system will primarily be installed on an upgraded version, sometimes called the T90M2. A whole new variant. Yeah, one with a new turret and an extended rear section. Maybe that's to fit the side launchers we saw in that animation, but here's the problem. If they're only putting it on the newest models, what about all the others? They're just left as drone bait. Precisely. And production of this new, highly modified T90M2 is expected to be very limited in 2026. It's a classic production bottleneck. They're trying to solve a 150 plus tank problem with what looks like a tiny trickle of new platforms. It's like trying to put out a forest fire with a squirt gun. And the lack of transparency just makes it all the more suspicious. You know, Russian troops got another batch of T-90Ms on the eve of the new year, right before 2026. Mm -hmm. The Ministry of Defense refused to disclose how many tanks were in that delivery, or more importantly, what modifications they had. Which is so telling. Uh. If they had finally rolled out a working drone-proof tank, they would be shouting it from the rooftops. They'd be showing it off. Their silence says everything. It suggests the tanks they delivered either don't have the fix, or the numbers are so small it's oh, embarrassing. The entire story just screams of a massive disconnect mm -hmm. between propaganda and reality. It's a flagship sailing straight into a hurricane, <laughs> and they're still arguing about how to rig the sails. So it leaves you with this one final unsettling question to think about. Given the fake computer animations and the undeniable documented battlefield losses, is this Arena M upgrade a real strategic defense against modern war? Or is it just an expensive piece of propaganda? A computer animation designed to be shown on the nightly news to reassure a public that has no idea what's really happening. Something for you to mull over. You've been listening to Jane J's Military Report, where we analyze the latest in military strategy, global defense, and advanced weaponry. We'll catch you next time.